I'm not sure I always believe that. I can say it. That's what you're supposed to say. There's power in prayer. If you grow up in church, you're supposed to say that. But you know what happens when you pray and uh, things don't go your way? Like that happened to me just last week. Um, a guy who's a, a, a business colleague, professional colleague that I, I met in September, uh, that I sat and I talked to for over an hour, really liked the guy, really connected, 43, so he's only 8 years older than me. Um, he got super sick and had pneumonia and went unconscious, and thousands of people across the country prayed that God would spare John Conrad's life, and he did. At 43 years old, John died, and he left behind his wife and daughter. That stuff is hard. It, you, yeah, prayer works, woo! But then those things happen, and it, it can be harder. You know, it's like, but that's not the way it was supposed to work. You, you were supposed to heal like God. Um, and we've talked about this before as a family, but when you pray, the Bible talks about when you pray and God will give you the desires of your heart. It's immediately in the context of your heart being in line with God's desires. And so when you ask God to work His will, you got to mean that. And, you know, that's a very touchy thing, because I think, like, how could it possibly have been as well for John to die? I don't know. Did he allow it to happen because something could come of it? I don't know. What I do know is that God does answer for her, and that God's a whole lot smarter than me. And I say that because um, I know we all carry junk. You know, we do really good at putting masks on. We do really good at coming to church. I know we're supposed to go on home, but we really all, frankly, have some pretty big credit. And we all have at least one major thing. I've done this before, too. If I were to say, think of one thing that's heavy on your heart. Every one of you in this room, over probably ten, could name that thing right like that. Why don't you bow your hands with me for a minute. Father, that thing that's on our mind right now, take it. If you are the God you promised me, if you are the God that says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, if you are the God that says, my burden is easy, my yoke is easy, my burden is light, if that's you, Help us to have the courage to clean that and give it to you. Give our junk to you because we really like to hold on to our junk. But your word, if it's true, and I have to believe it is, says you are worthy that you died in my place so that I could have something that on my own I could never inherit on my own without you. Help us to give it to you. Help us to clean that promise. Help us to trust and know that you are God and that you love us and that you are worthy, Jesus. I ask this in your name, Father. I pray as we sing this song that we would actually mean it. We would actually think about the words we're singing. You are worthy. That is what you are. I pray that you would come into our heart this morning. Help us feel that. That you are justice and you are mercy. And you are the perfect sacrifice.